Welcome back to MK Sports Cars. Off to the dyno and it's straight to a test drive. The RX-5 Turbo kicks out a whopping 241 BHP. Meanwhile in the workshop, the two Hayabusa's are flying along and there's more cars for sale? Don't go anywhere guys, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> you can cut that bit, Anna. Welcome back to the MK Sports Cars Workshop, guys. Well, we're in here with an orange car, but it's not this orange car we're gonna show you on a dyno, it's this one. Given me the Mazda RX-5 Turbo that we've just built, sold to a kind lucky punter, and it's got the new works power map on it. So if you look at the power curve, it's quite a linear power delivery. It spools up really quite quickly. So not only is it a little lamb on the road, it's quite exciting when you get to the loud bits. So this car was built on a 10th anniversary edition MX-5 Mark II. So it's got the limited slip diff and the six-speed gearbox. Which makes a little bit of difference with the six-speed box. It's quite smooth to drive, the six-speeder. I'm not gonna lie to you, it goes in quite nice. It feels, feels like a Winchester rifle. It's so smooth on the way in. 30 miles an hour in fifth gear. Let's do a little bit of a fifth gear pull, see what happens. Oh, oh that's got some whoosh to it. <laughs> wow, that pulls. That just pulls. One of the benefits of the RX-5 is that all the steering controls are all sitting in front of you. So you don't need a pilot's lesson on how to drive it. All you need to do is just be mindful of what is under your right foot. So when you do happen to press that loud button, you know what's coming. because it's got nothing, 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 bang, and have that. It's such a linear drive. There's no three quarters of an hour of a turbo spool up and then it goes. It just goes straight away. If you look at the graph, and I'm harping back to the graph, but if you look at the power graph the, of our works map, the power comes in at two and a half thousand RPM. So you're already there. So as a standard upgrade, the upgrade path that we do from a standard Mazda MX-5 
into the turbo, it's not actually that expensive when you go from 140 horsepower right up to 250 in the pub. But the torque figure, oh, the torque figure, yeah, that's pretty mega. I think these gearboxes were actually built, not for the Mazda, but for this car. So quiet. I can't get over, I cannot tell you how quiet this car is. I keep banging on about it, I know, but it is very, very quiet. And the grip. <laughs> Traffic comes up on you really quite quickly, not even when I'm, I'm not even on quarter throttle. I'm just driving it sensibly and it's just so fast. does do is it it drinks more than George Best on a night out Right, hope you enjoyed that. That was uh, the Dyno Run uh, RLM making big horsepower on the RX5 turbo on a stock engine. Uh, it's a TDO4 setup, as you know, well-proven solution that we've got going on there. And if you want to know, uh, guess what, more information about that, you can hook us up with a phone call, an email, or come down and see us at the factory here, and we can talk you through the process. Well, while we're talking about orange cars, let's get into this one. It's hashtag Ted's car, booster car, completely different bike engine car, same colour scheme though extra wide arches, we've got carbon interior panels going in, we've fitted all the bulkhead in here, this has gone in for the battery carrier, header tank, oil catch tanks has gone in. We've also now fitted the um, quick release on this, which has all got the old electronic Bluetooth gear change system on it, up and down on this, and the six channel for your indicators and everything else as well, looking pretty sick, I must say, it's gonna be amazing to use. I'll get that one in a second. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There it goes. Wiggle, wiggle, and there it goes on. So yeah, that's been going on, and then we fitted the roll bar on it with the boot box, all the light pack, and everything else. It's all been basically fettled into trial fitting, and then it's got a bit of its final fitment. So we're cracking on with Ted's car. A couple of bits to do on the front end, and we can start buttoning up this section here with the wiring and the dashboard, and integrating all the Bluetooth. Uh, right, while I'm walking through the workshop, we've had this one arrived in here. Um, maybe a familiar car to some of you who've, uh, who watch the videos each week and what we're going on. This is a Indy uh, Classic with a S2000 engine in there. Uh, this was built by us uh, probably just over a year ago, as you can see by the registration plate. Had a brand new registration on it. Uh, complete drivetrain, complete Honda running gear, cracking engine, roll cage, um, CXRs on it, uh, Wheelwoods on the front. 50 mil cage, Diddy Dash. It's got the one of the first um, Bluetooth um, four wheel on, on the steering wheel and that for it as well. Um, and the good thing about this one, it's another car we've just had coming. It's coming up for sale. Um, this one, I think Anna will maybe post a link because we did a test drive on this as well when it was finally finished and built. So we can send that for you. You can have a look. And if not, if you want to come down, sit, touch, look, feel, go out for a test drive. This car is going to be up for sale, uh, 18995 and it's only done about 140 miles since new. Um, nothing wrong with it, just the customer um, is in a condition that he can't use the vehicle anymore. But let's pop the hood. Look at that famous Honda badged engine. Super clean, super tidy, uh, as you'd expect from something that's done 140 odd miles. Um, don't need the MOT or nothing like that now, it's all been IVA registered, uh, ready to go really. So if you're looking for a turnkey car that you want to hit the summer wave right now, with a six speed gearbox, with 230 plus horsepower, and with a 9,000 RPM limit, I think this is the ticket. 
Right over here in the uh, bill bay for the next project, which is hashtag Brian, trying to motor along with this as quickly as we can as well. Um, we've now fitted the bonnet. Uh, it's done a, like a hidden bonnet catch on there. They're fiddly little things to do. It can be done. Prefer not to do them because it's a little, lot more work than fitting a pair of bonnet catches, but it can be done. Uh, a hidden bonnet catch. And then we fitted the new catches that we've haven't done in black. Uh, these are a lockable thing, so it's rather than the rub one, this is a race car, so it's not a problem for ABA. It pops in place and it has a lock here, so there's no way that bonnet is coming off in any way. You can't lift the catch up, pop it lock off, and away you go. So super clean. Aero screen's been fitted, the carbon aero screen's been done, nose cone all buttoned down. Um, he's got the uh, LED headlights, as he indicated, is in here already anyway, as well. Front wings are all on. Aero screen say on, it's got the news, a larger style formula mirrors on these, carbon effect. Um, we've got the side seal protectors going in. This is going to have a yellow stripe, I do believe, in it. And he wanted something a little bit colour coordinated, so we've gone with the yellow on those. Boot cover's just about to be fitted. Roll cage has gone on, of course. You wouldn't have seen that now. That's the next thing that's been bolted on. The FA approved roll cage really enhances the look of the car. Um, and we're just starting on with plumbing all the fire extinguisher system, which we've got the fittings in here for. As you can see just in there, I'm sure Anna will zoom in those in a minute. Um, the free wheel as well is going on with this vehicle. It's going to be the same as what we showed you on Ted. It's going to have the uh, Bluetooth paddles, which is going to be absolutely, I'm going to say sick. It's going to be awesome. Uh, yeah, so we button that up, get the boot cover button down. That's all laid in, ready to start drilling and ready for the press studs in there. Um, yeah, kind of motoring along now. It's starting to come together. So we should see this hit the ground within the next couple of days. We can start on with the geo of the car. Right guys, it's turbo time. Same as you saw on the uh, orange car on the dyno, this is exactly the same setup. The manifold TDO4 turbo on here with this custom link pipe for the left-hand drive car that was done. Exactly the same set as EV14 injectors that we run in it. It's got an ME221 ECU at the moment in there. That may get changed at the moment because the customer might want to be doing something a little different so we may go to the 442. But we'll see, because watch this space. Because we've done some other developments, some things that have been changing where the customer wants to go and do some upgrades. First thing we've done, we've got rid of the stock calipers, which is here. These ones come on the car, and they've been upgraded to Willwoods. So we've got Willwood four pots in here, which is our bolt-on kit uh, that we do. So we make all the adapter plates for that to bolt on the Willwood caliper, and using the stock Mazda disc, so it's a two, 256, uh, disc drilled and vented um, as well and grooved so plenty of stopping power for this obviously we've finished off nearly all the plumbing and cooling because i think we find this up the other week for you and run it all and etc so we know the number it's going to make it's going to make 240 plus horsepower which is great and um got an electronic boost controller just to wire in it's the final fitment on that that we've got to do um because we're just putting a new air temperature sensor we plumb it in here a lot of places put it in this section but we kind of use this port that's already there and it's existing in the uh in a plenum, so it makes life easier uh, for us. And then we've put on, uh, literally in the last 24 hours, the uh, ducting kit to help with ramming the air into the intercooler and the oil cooler, which is tucked right under here. We've got 13 row oil cooler, uh, which then runs the lines up and then comes off of just down in there. It's gonna be really difficult to see, but there is a sandwich plate in there. Excuse me, as I'll pass around it, but right down in here, and you're not gonna see it, there's a sandwich plate in there, there's a takeoff, and the filter gets bolted on just down in here. Difficult to see, but that comes off to the oil cooler and oil return lines. So, keeps it simple. That will help with the cooling. Um, when you're running turbo, it's all right on the road, but if you're going to anywhere near a track, you kind of need to put some kind of oil cooler on it. Turbos obviously generate a lot more heat. So yeah, this car, we've got a few more upgrades. I think the customer's uh, emailed into us that he wants to do. Uh, and then we can start buttoning this up. Um, I think it was on about an AIM dashboard and a couple other bits and bobs that we're going to have to look at for the customer. Um, but yeah going to be done so be on the ground with the cage and everything else all the boot cover all of that was already done we've shown you that in detail so hopefully we can get this on the ground give it some test drive coming up soon right while we're here in the workshop as always we like to keep you up to date with the chassis register well Anna's going to pin it up oh <laughs> we're sorry that side today we like to keep you on your toes but yeah hopefully you can see yourself in a queue there and if you want to get yourself in a queue hook us up with a phone call and email and of course we'll be happy to oblige Right, and then the next thing is, we get asked a question quite often is, will I fit in your car? Well, yes, we can accommodate many sizes. And during the course of this week, we had a gentleman come in, John, come and look down and have a look at this car and a couple of other cars. Six foot seven, 36 inch leg, 
very tall chap, and guess what? Here's a picture of him sitting quite comfortably in the Indy. Right, next thing, what's coming up? Shows, well, we're looking forward to Newark, another two day event coming up, and I'll post that up there for you somewhere and you can see what's going on. Hopefully, and if you can't get down here and you're closer to Newark in the next, well, was it, six, seven weeks time, um, you can come down and see the variety of cars that we're gonna have on show there. Right, well, I suppose that's called it a wrap for this week, but if you wanna know more about the MK range, or you wanna come down and see us, hook us up on the phone call, book an appointment, go out for a test drive, or look at any of these amazing cars that are for sale and turnkey and ready to go, then you know where we are. Hopefully you like what we're doing. If you do, like, share and subscribe below.